Hello there, it's um, Paul here from the Perfect Review channel. Um, hello everybody, uh, I hope you're all doing well with the, uh, the current situation obviously um, and the lockdown and self-isolation and having to stay in and um, obviously keep safe and uh, stay safe and protect the NHS and save lives. Um, obviously we can still buy products on Amazon and eBay and various other online shops um, so today I'm just doing a little review on them. Um, this is a, a circular saw, a little land circular saw that I've just seen on Amazon and purchased um, last week. And it's come through now. So I've, this is the box it came in. It's the thing, 600 watt, um, obviously mains plunge saw. So it says professional. Um, so that's the box it came in. So I took it all out. But this is far as I've got, just um, obviously um, not used there or anything yet, you get some, uh, so let's start off, I mean this is a quite heavy um, product, I mean that's the actual, that's the actual item, comes in this nice striking orange with some like green, it's a uh, Galax Pro here, yeah? so that's the actual size of the item, um, like I said it's, it's got some weight to it, um, feels the triggers in a nice place got a nice comfortable design the on off buttons here so that's oh that no that's for the laser sorry that's for the laser so we've got a laser um now i had really good reviews this when i already reviewed it i um, not reviewed it but i already i always read the reviews when i buy a product to see what other people are saying about it um, and that's why i did reviews to um obviously help people who obviously want to buy it as well i try to make mine as real as i can um, and just stick to the facts and try the products out and um, I don't just get the products to sell on or whatever I actually use the products so um, you're actually usually seeing them really uh, really been tested um, so from that point of view so this one here I already had good reviews uh, there's a couple of bad reviews about the laser on the top somebody said it was spinning round or um, when it was sewing it feels quite strong on there to me um, so I'll have to look at that. Um, not quite sure. And that's so you can set it. Yeah. So. so that's the actual saw. Like I said, it looks very, very well made. Uh, it comes it's a nice orange colour. Um, Looks like it has a good length of cable with it, which is always important when you're using power tools. You don't want to obviously be uh, having to pull extension leads or whatever. You obviously want a nice long length of cable when you. So let's let's have a look what we got here. I would say a couple of meters. All right. So uh, maybe not couple, but you've surely got a. Well, maybe yeah, no, probably two meters. Uh, it's got um, built-in 13 out fuse, three put three pin plug. Um, this all looks well made. Um, yeah, cable looks safe and the right kind of um, core and stuff gauge. People always worry when they buy products off Amazon. More and more people are selling uh, products on Amazon which are from China, Chinese sellers and stuff. But um, I've had so many good products from Amazon that have been uh, like you could say cancer fit or uh, copies of other products. And to be honest, it, everything is made in China anyway. To be honest, um, I had a Panasonic TV that just uh, broke on me recently, a plasma one. It's about uh, ten years old. But when I took it apart to have a look, um, all the boards and things inside were all made in either um, China or Romania and places that you wouldn't really expect of a brand like Panasonic. So, to be honest, don't let that put you off. It's um, It can be down to the individual, each product. Some products are better than others. But to say that products from China are dangerous or they're not, they're not up to any good, it's, it's nonsense really. I mean, this, this looks like a good product. Obviously, I haven't used it yet. We have to, obviously have to um, be 
got your Allen key. Well, obviously, you have to stick a blade in. You get um, well, you get three blades, which is quite good. So um, we open that here. So you've got your uh, obviously diamond cutting bit, and then you've got uh, that's ones for wood or metal, and this one looks like it's for just wood, yeah. So I'm mainly going to be using this for, for wood, so I'm going to fit the wood one. Um, <clears throat> and we'll just see how easy it is to actually uh, put the bit in, and then we'll, we'll start it up and see what it, what it sounds like. What it, obviously, I'll have to do a separate video where I'm cutting. Now, uh, so. So the instructions are uh, um, nice and clear. You've got uh, English. English is about after. No, it's obviously not the first one. Uh, actually, no, it is. Yeah, English is the first language. And you have different thumb saw. Right, so let's see what it says about adding the blade. Removal of the saw bit. Plus, press the lock button and keep it pressed. The spindle lock. So this has to drop round some other doesn't it, obviously. Ah, there it is. So the lock button is here on the side, um, so you press this button and that locks the spindle so you can then take the allen key out. And once we've done that it's a case of just sticking the blade in. And the blade's got all this protector on it. It has to go the same way as the arrow, same way as the arrow on the actual saw. I'll just put that in there like that. I'll just it's all back in. Hello, sweetie pie. Hello, Daddy. What's Daddy doing here? I don't know. What's Daddy always doing? I'm busy. Yeah. Do you have nice walkies? Is Lizzie good or not really? Yeah. She's playing the bum. Good. You're saying one thing, Mummy's saying another thing, Daniel. Why? She didn't want to walk back. What's it carry? Hola.
Well, it's bloody, I would say it's quite good. So this is the saw, blade fitted in now. I've set the plunge adapter just for a little bit. So obviously when the, let's see it's just a, about 10, I think it's 10 millimeters. I'll put the, uh, obviously the, I'm obviously got cut in here, but I just want to show you that it's, uh, what it sounds like, what it looks like. The laser, can't see any problem with the laser, it's on tight. Turn it on and off, you don't have to have the laser on, you can even remove it. And you've got, we'll see, you can set the plunge depth for you. Obviously, if you want it for, it's the maximum pl plunge depth for that, which is uh, about 25 millimeters. It's not very really big, but obviously for trimming and 